Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Put up another poll on my Twitter and asked you guys what you want to see me play next between Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. For some reason, I thought Black Ops 3 was going to blow Black Ops 4 out of the water, and it did win, but Black Ops 4 got a lot more votes than I thought. But then I figured, you know what? It doesn't have to be a loser here. Let's put up both. And boy, am I glad I did. Because I dug up one of my old gameplays where I get over 220 kills on Nuketown. 220. This gameplay is absolutely nuts. It's from an older video on my channel, so it doesn't have volume right here at the beginning because I was talking about some other nonsense at the time, but the volume will come in later. But for right now, I'm going to talk about what I want out of Black Ops Cold War because that trailer is supposed to come out tomorrow. So this is going to be a quick list of things before I see the trailer of what I want in the game. And then we'll do another one after we see the trailer to see what we got right and what we still think the trailer didn't cover and what we want in the game. Number one, and most important of all in any Call of Duty game, good maps. In my opinion, Modern Warfare has the worst maps out of any Call of Duty game ever made. I don't think there's a single map in this game that fans will want brought back or remastered for CODs in the future. Not only are the maps super poorly designed in my opinion, but they're so dull to look at. The maps in the Black Ops series are always vibrant, full of rich colors, and just good to look at. The maps in Modern Warfare like strain your eyes looking for people in bushes, dark corners, and they're just dark gray, and it, it's horrible. People dumped on it for a long time, but three lane maps are the way to go. These maps with a ton of hiding spots where you gotta look for little Timmy in one of seven windows or under a trash can or something like that, it's tiring, it sucks, I hate doing it, and I know you do too. Number two, score streaks. Kill streaks in Modern Warfare are pretty good. You get the Harrier, Chopper Gun, or AC-130, all that. But I'm not talking about what they are. I'm talking about getting the streaks based off your score. When you just have kill streaks, there's no point in playing the objective. Why would I ever hop on B-Flag? There's nothing in it for me, other than the enemy team being notified that I'm standing there in the middle of the open and I'm a free kill for them. I like playing the objective and I like winning the game, but there's no point to stand on B just so I can get a win and I'm not incentivized at all. It's pointless. Reward the player for playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. It's that simple. It blows my mind that this was taken out of Modern Warfare. Number three, another thing that's been in past CODs and they took out of Modern Warfare, prestiging. In Modern Warfare, what is the point of getting to level 155? There's nothing there. There's no point in playing once you have all the attachments for the gun you want, all the camos, and all, all the things unlocked. It's a limited selection of stuff that you can unlock, and there's really no point in playing multiplayer at all. Older games like Black Ops 3 had camos you could grind for, and even skins for the guys. It was sick, and it gave you a reason to keep coming back. You had prestige emblems, you had the different colored levels. It was a way to show that you grinded for it and you got it. Bring that stuff back. Another thing on my personal list, which I don't think they do, but I think would be cool, Black Ops 1 had pro perks, where if you were good enough or used a, a certain perk in the right situations a certain number of times, you get a pro version of that perk that added on a little something extra. Number four, and this one's a personal favorite, this would honestly be number one, but I don't know how much of you guys like this stuff. Ranked play. Ranked play is so much fun. If you're gonna put super heavy skill-based matchmaking in the game, at least incentivize me to win and let me build some sort of rank when I'm going as hard as I can against people who are just as good as me. Pubs should be pubs and rank play should be rank play. And if you put rank play in the game, I think you could dial back the skill-based matchmaking on the pubs and everyone would have a bit more fun. That's it guys, enjoy this gameplay. Got another video coming every day this week. See ya. And don't forget to like and subscribe.
forces are contesting now. Switching rally point. Prevent hostile forces from taking our zones. Attack on get your UFV on station. Deploying laser wire.
Tiger's running on fumes. 